Hey again, folks. Freezing Inferno here, back with Super Get Down Ghouls and Ghosts. I'm clearly out of my mind. So here we are in some sort of fiery, hell-like pit, and if you look really close, you can see that treasure chest pattern I was ranting about last video. Right in action. But by God, let's talk about the level a bit. It has some really annoying enemies, like these little guys, these little imps. If you don't kill them immediately, they can become a real nuisance, because of how they move, and they're such a small little target, it's kind of hard to dodge them. But they'll knock you out of your armor nonetheless, those little babies. Like, see that guy? He was coming to swoop right at me. He would have been in real trouble if I didn't have a homing, though. But luckily, I have one right here. Those weird fire... Uh, what the hell are those? I don't even know what to call them. Fire Hellcats? Whatever they are, they're not cool. And this one likes to try and hog the ladder and get in any of it. I got him. So that's pretty much the end of the first section here, barring a uh, bit of platforming. I hope you have that double jump mastered by now because you're gonna need it. This is some great A platform here. And then we've got bloody spiky conveyor belts. Ugh. Oh, but now, now after this little bit of platforming, you get to meet the best goddamn enemy in this game. And by best, I of course mean the most annoying thing. Oh, God. Introducing the Red Armor Ace. I have a homing bow. He's not nearly as bad as he could be with a homing bow. See, I got rid of him rather quickly, but you, you have to understand. You have to let me explain the Red Anima Race to you and explain why this guy sucks. As I just climb this Mickey Mania-esque tower and kill a bunch of enemies. Let me, let me just, I just want to go on this tangent about the Red Anima Race. Okay, so, whenever you shoot at him, he will automatically swoop up to avoid the attack. So, you either got to be jumping to hit him or you've got to be really close to the ground to get him. And then he can swoop at you. In a weird U-curve. Um, if you're not careful, if you're not expecting that, if you don't have quick reflexes, that attack is going to hit you. In addition to that, he also has... He can shoot a shot, and he can create those little tiny imps. Basically, he's the worst enemy. Like, people rag on Ninja Gaiden Birds a lot, but a Ninja Gaiden Bird's pattern is come straight at you. A Red Armor's pattern is avoid the living shit out of you until it's absolutely sure it can kill you. Now, I got that one really easily with the homing bow, but there are worse ones. There are far worse ones in this game. Every stage, except the next one, from now on, will have at least one armor in it. So that's something to look forward to if you're playing this game. Oh. Oh, look at that. Extra life. I guess it is every 40,000 points after 20,000. It's like arcade style. Funny, since Super Ghouls and Ghosts is the only one that didn't get an arcade version first. Like, you know what I'm trying to say. It wasn't based off an arcade version, it's an original game, as far as I know. I could be dead wrong. Gotta get them money bags, because money bags are oh so important. There are both those extra lives and those continues, as I've told you. If you're going to play this game legit, you're really going to need to get them. Yes. I'm really wondering how many people are actually going to want to try this game legit. I know certain folks already am cursing my name to the high heavens for making them play this game for just 15 minutes, let alone playing it through for personal play, so... <laughs> oh, But we're at the boss now. We're lucky because we have a homing bow. And the bow is really good against this boss. In fact, well, just about anything but the... Well, I didn't show that weapon yet, but... Just about anything is good against the Hellworm. All he does is he rotates around you while mode sevening it up because it was 1991. Look at Act Racer. Look at F Zero. Look at Pilot Wings. The verdict was clear. Everyone had a hard on for mode seven. This guy is just so simple. He just rotates around you and then he shoots rocks. Now be wary of what direction the rocks go in because they come back from the opposite side. And that's all he can do. He just basically spins around and lets you hit him. He's ridiculous. <laughs> well, either way, that's level three done. I'll see you next time for more of this video game.
Bye.